Okay, now some of you might have heard of the Unification mod for Dawn of War Soulstorm, which has got some really cool stuff in it. Where is it? Well, it's on moddb.com mods unification mod Dawn of War Soulstorm. This is it here. You will see articles with very fancy stuff and what we need is said the Unity version is available now and it says there erases blah 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 and the files are in files section here and you want the patch 5.9.1 installer we want the Unification 5.9.0 full installer mod db requires base files and then we need the base files I believe which is there unification race mods there 7.4.9 either that one or the um, torrent pack so you need to make sure that you get that and the full installer that's ah this one you need this as well unification core files so there's quite a few files that you need to get they then need to all be in one folder which is here for it to work so that's the main thing we need to we need to have the full there the core mod and the patcher all in this one file these are the the main ones the torrent pack we have in a separate one which is the bug fix torrent and then the two modules which you'll see there which come out of the bug fix torrent pack so yes then I'll now show you how we actually install this thing because it's a bit of a beast. Okay everyone, so we're going to start with the unification mod and the first thing we're going to do is install I'm going to stick it on drive H I think um, Dawn of War Soulstorm so you need Dawn of War Soulstorm to make unification mod work so that's the first thing we need to do by Soulstorm, Dawn of War Soulstorm, and then download it. So we're downloading it, and I'll catch you when this is finally downloaded, and we'll move on to our next step. Okay, I've found something which is quite important. If you've got your Steam library and you've installed Soulstorm before and attempted this mod, delete the Soulstorm folder because it'll still have the mod files in there so you need to make sure that you delete the Soulstorm folder and then download it again and now it'll put it all back but on a clean install so make sure that the Dawn of War Soulstorm folder you manually delete even if you've just picked to uninstall because it won't delete the whole folder we're going to launch the game to actually double check that everything works fine have it on screen one 1080 32-bit and I've got a 60 Hertz monitor so 60 Hertz I'll run the rendering test okay so we've run the rendering test yeah it's fine <laughs> yes it displayed correctly next okay those are our settings for my particular PC finish now hopefully it launches the game or do I have to manually press play okay running now this isn't the mod this is just the base game 
We're going to run it just to double check that everything runs correctly. Sega. Damn them! Fight! Yeah, Soulstorm. So yeah, everything's working. Okay. So let's install it again. So we need the files full, unification core mod, patcher, then there's these additional files that we'll look at in a minute. We've got the unification bug fix torrent which includes the modules and the actual torrent file that we've downloaded there. So let's go and install this. We're going to install full one first and it needs to have the core mod and full there. So that's what we're going to do. Launch that. I'll turn the music off. You have to agree to that. Double check that this is in the right folder, which it is. Unification full, mod manager, and we can download and install the Tyramid mod, which I'll ask it to do. So it's saying that it, it's doing it on Core Mod Archive. So I, I assume that it's found the Core Mod Archive because it's actually extracting it. So that's great. They have to be in the same folder. That's the main thing. It doesn't have to be in the actual Dawn of War Soulstorm folder, but you need to make sure, like on your desktop, that you have install folder and that all of this is in the same folder and not in subfolders either. So, as we can see here with the files, the core mod unification full and core mod need to be in the same folder. Now that's going to run. And I've got a pet puck. <laughs> okay, now it's going to download from a mirror ninety three megabyte file. The Tyranid mod. Okay, it'll now launch the files for the Tyranid mod. I agree. That is the correct folder. Yeah, sure. Objective points and free UI. Now I, I have that. So that's fine, but we'll just let the whole thing run. It's beta 3, version 0 0.5 beta 3. Sure, that's going to download that one, which is objective points. Okay. We've now got free UI and objective points. So I'm going to extract them to objective points and I'm going to extract that to free UI. And we're going to see what this is. Right, okay. We need to copy them into the core folder, which I've created a directory for there. Which is quite handy. Right, so I'm going to paste that free UI. Just, we're just going to paste them in and objective points. Copy and paste them in. Okay, so that should have put them two in. I can see on our desktop now that we have two 
mod managers obviously we're going to just use the higher version but now we want to use the patcher now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it in this bug fix torrent thing I don't know if this is going to work I don't think it matters That is our folder. Okay. It says it did something. It's extracted some stuff. Right. Complete. Right. So that doesn't matter. We didn't need this. <laughs> so we could have run that there. No problem. Right. We're going to go to the Univagation Bug Fix Torrent and we're going to copy these two into the main folder oh they appear to be there skip right I think they were already there unification new races module and unification bug fix module okay great right and then there's a folder called unification bug fix and we're going to copy everything from this copy folder into the unification bug fix folder of Dawn of War Soulstorm. We'll do paste. That's going to copy 13 gigabytes of information now. Now I think it's important to be patient with this because obviously it's saying on my computer three hours. I think it's going to take not as long as three hours. But yeah, you just have to be patient as this gets copied across. Okay, it's finally installed, but it says here, replace, if I, they've got the same name, do you want to replace? We'll just press skip. Because we don't want to overwrite things. I don't think so anyway. We don't want to overwrite anything. Okay, so that's copied that in, right? copied our bug fix in. That's our folder. We've got our mod managers there. We're going to use the 2.1.5 one. Now it's important. There's a new update so we're going to press update. Download with completed. Right. So then now we've got three mod managers. Right. Okay. So 3.2.3 Point one, okay. Okay, it's important to launch unification mod through the mod manager. So it says objective points installed, free UI installed, which were those extra ones. We've got Tyranid mod installed. We've got that installed, and I can see everything's installed there. Now toggle L A A needs to be enabled so that that goes green and settings we've got for video that's what we've got however we want persistent bodies none and persistent scarring low because apparently that will just like absolutely use loads of the RAM so we want to make sure that is as well now in theory if this has all worked correctly when we press start mod it will actually work and I have it I have the steam version ah and the unification mod splash screen has appeared which is a very good sign it says please wait loading I imagine it's going to take a little bit of time just for this to fire up So we will wait for this appear. It might take some time, so don't don't panic straight away if it doesn't work immediately, because it does take a little bit of time to load up. And congratulations, Soulstorm has launched, which is great. Absolutely, really, really happy. 
and it says at the top here dawn of war engine unification new races build whatever unification new races 5.9.1 excellent so now we can have some fun okay everyone so we've got some uh, thousand suns versus um oh crap thousand suns versus demon hunters yeah thousand suns versus demon hunters that's what we're doing today so yeah lots of fun it's loading it's going to take some time so yeah lots of fun so far I'm sure it's supposed to load faster than this. Oh no, it's actually loading, shit. <laughs> I thought it was bossed. I actually thought it was bossed, shit. It's just taking ages to load. I think it's because it's not, the game isn't actually installed on an SSD. I think that might be the issue. That this is just on a standard hard disk and not an SSD. I need to buy an SSD to put the games on really, I think. And then that will significantly improve my loading times. Because this is shockingly slow. It is taking ages. It's working. I thought it crashed, but it's working. But it's just... I've never seen a load time like this before. This is crazy loading time. Ah, it's loaded. Start mission. Okay, let's go. So it was only like an eight minute load time. I've got a thousand suns. What can we have? I'll get a sorcerer lord. Who are these guys? Randomly got some Rubik Marines. The bizarrely Rubik Marines can't capture stuff. Are these reinforcements? Okay, guys, so thank you ever so much for watching that video. As you can see, I uh, started to play the game and it started to work after much figuring out how to get Unification Mod to actually work. So I thought I'd make this video to show you how I installed the game. There are other options, you don't have to use the torrent file. There was a file where you could just download the zip, but make sure it's the 7.8 gigabyte one. You need the core one, which is the 3 point something gigabyte one, and the actual install folder, which is only like install exe, which is only like 90 something megabytes or something like that, 60 to 90 something megabytes. So there you go. Hopefully everything works for you. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment down below as to what your experience was installing the uni unification mod for Soulstorm. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this video showed you how to do it. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a like. That would really help the algorithm promote this video to other people. And if you fancy other things, seeing other games or uh, Warhammer 40k content, which I have a lot of. I also do a little bit of Age of Sigmar and who knows, maybe even Warhammer Old World when it ever gets launched. Please subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget to uh, check out the other videos that I'm going to put a link to here and here. And yeah, bye. See you in, uh, see you in the next video. Stay awesome, guys.